I'm Greg, this is Definitive Mac Upgrade Guide, and today I wanted to talk to you about how to upgrade the firmware on a classic Mac Pro 5.1. In this video, I'm gonna cover all the steps it takes. It's not that many, but there are a few gotchas, mostly around the GPU, because you need a newer GPU than this guy. This is the one that came with the computer I'm about to upgrade, but it doesn't support Metal. Metal's the latest graphics API found in Mac OS, and you need a GPU that supports it in order to flash the firmware because it's attached to the Mojave installer. You don't have to install Mojave, the firmware's backwards compatible, so you can continue to use old OS's, it's just you have to have a Metal compatible GPU. After that, the other big gotcha is just getting the firmware to the latest version because it's easy to get stuck, and we can go through how to avoid that. So. In this video, unfortunately, I'm not covering how to upgrade a Mac Pro 4.1 to the 5.1 firmware. That is a complete software upgrade that basically makes a Mac Pro 4.1 the same as a 5.1. That is covered by Jay, aka House of Moth, and he has a fantastic guide he just wrote. And I'm linking that in the description. This video is complete with pictures and everything. So I really recommend you read it. It even covers basically what we're gonna talk about today. The reason why you want to upgrade is so you get NVMe support. This is the fastest and latest and greatest in storage, so that's the main driver of why you want to perform this upgrade. So without further ado, let's just get into the process. up since updating the firmware has a bunch of requirements and considerations the first half of this video is just that if you're looking to skip ahead just to the process of installing the firmware use the youtube chapters in the description of this video and go to the chapter the process of updating the firmware while I wouldn't call long-term support one of Apple's specialties when it comes to desktop computers, with the Mac Pros, it was a bit of an exception. Updates continued to flow for the firmware all the way up into Mac OS Mojave. This means that the 2010 Mac Pros were getting firmware updates eight years after its release date. And if I'm trying to keep it 100, that's pretty good. The firmware updates were pretty meaningful too, because 10.13 added APFS support and 10.14 added MVME support. As I mentioned in my intro, Apple adding support for MVME, which is the latest and greatest in storage, is a pretty big deal as one can imagine. Also, the firmware is backwards compatible and you can continue to use previous versions of Mac OS. While the firmware is bundled with the macOS installer, as you'll see in this video, it does not require installing macOS Mojave. Before you get started, you're going to need a Metal-compatible GPU. Metal is a graphics API created by Apple to replace OpenGL. This is much akin to how Microsoft produces its own graphics API known as DirectX. The big problem is, is very few older graphics chipsets are actually supported in Metal. While I don't want to derail this entire video on a discussion of GPUs, I have to talk about them for just a second, and it's because there's some pretty bad news. And that is that almost every single GPU that supports Metal will not support the Mac OS boot screen. This has to do with low-level drivers and Apple implementing EFI before UEFI, which is used on PCs, was a standard. So what happens is when you hit the power button, you won't see the Apple logo or be able to use the option key to pick your boot screen or boot drive. So there are strategies you can use to work around this and they're discussed in the definitive Mac Pro upgrade guide. And it's not all for a loss here because there are ways to get the boot screen back using OpenCore, which is a bootloader. That is also discussed in the Definitive Mac Pro Upgrade Guide, and I also recommend checking out Yorg's YouTube channel that's entirely dedicated to OpenCore. If you're running macOS High Sierra, the easiest way to check if your GPU supports Metal is going to About This Mac, System Report, then going to the Graphics and Displays. If your GPU is supported in the metal column, it should say supported. If it isn't, you're going to need to procure yourself a metal supported GPU. Apple does provide a very small list of metal supported GPUs. 
However, it's really incomplete. Instead, I recommend going to check out the definitive Mac Pro upgrade guide as I've taken the time to list every single metal-supported GPU. As far as I know, this is the most complete list on the internet, except for I don't list every single GPU variant. While pretty much every variant of a chipset's usually supported, sometimes there's some idiosyncrasies that come up with a particular version, so I suggest doing some quick research before plunking down the cache. Usually this is searching Mac rumors plus whatever GPU you're looking at. Next, you're going to need to download a copy of Mac OS Mojave. You thought this was going to be the easy part. It's not. Since different versions of Mac OS Mojave came with different firmware, it's pretty easy to get stuck on one of the older firmwares. This happened to me when I downloaded Mac OS Mojave through the Mac App Store. It's not too big of a deal, but it just means you're going to have to go through the pain of reflashing the firmware yet again. So what I recommend is downloading the combined installer with all the updates for macOS Mojave. The easiest way I've found to do this is using DOSDude's Mojave Patcher. This is a utility designed to patch macOS for unsupported hardware. The only thing we're interested in is the download function. So don't do anything else with this other than download macOS Mojave. And I want to be clear, there are other ways to get macOS Mojave 10.14, so don't feel like this is the only way. You can find a link to Dostu's patcher in the description of this video. The Mac Pro in front of me does not have a metal-compatible GPU, so I'm going to swap it out with a metal-compatible GPU. Now when I try and run the macOS Mojave installer, it'll warn me about flashing my firmware with some on-screen instructions. It reads as follows. To install macOS Mojave, a firmware update is required. To complete the update, click shut down and wait for your Mac Pro to turn off. Next, hold the power button down until the power light indicator flashes or you hear a long tone. So far, these instructions are accurate, but the next part is not. A gray screen with an Apple logo and a progress bar will display while the update is in progress. No, that doesn't happen. And that is because almost every single metal compatible GPU, as previously mentioned, cannot display a boot screen. Therefore, it cannot display this progress bar. When the update is complete, your Mac Pro will start up normally. That is true. This update may take a few minutes. Do not shut down or restart your Mac Pro while this update is in progress. <laughs> yeah. So once the firmware kicks in, it should reboot a second time, then launch Mac OS. All right, so let's do it. So I'm going to hold down the power button and we'll see it blink a few times. And then we'll hear the chime and I'll let off. Beautiful. So let's skip ahead and your Mac should reboot without a boot screen. Now if you go to About This Mac, you can check your firmware version by going to System Report. It should now read as Boot ROM version 144.0.0.0.0. Now your Mac Pro has the ability to boot off an NVMe drive. If this process doesn't work, I suggest checking out my article, The Foolproof Way to Update Your Mac OS Firmware. Some users have reported that they had to remove all their PCIe cards sans the storage controllers like SATA cards and their GPU to install the firmware update. If your firmware is stuck at a version below 144, I suggest, again, checking out the foolproof way to update your firmware. I really wanted to make this video shorter, but there's just too many things to cover. Hopefully you found this video useful, and in the description of this video are multiple videos I've done about the Mac Pro and NVMe drives. <laughs>